What I found with the adult male's vocalizations, I'll just give you one example here and go ahead and play it for you. Okay, so this is a spectrogram, right? Time here, and that's basically your perception of pitch. And this is basically a, a voice print. It's a pictorial representation of the call. And what you hear in the beginning, right in here, is f familiar um, to anybody who's listened to killer whales, but it's got this little wavy sound to it. We had a look at the vocalizations of this juvenile killer whale. Um, the, the story is that we hadn't heard any of these kinds of sounds from him before his mother had another calf. So, and not immediately after, but slowly afterwards, he started spending more time with the adult male. And months later, we start hearing these calls. It surprised us, but that's the story here, is that all of a sudden he's starting to make these calls. And I'm going to go ahead and play it for you so that you can listen to it. You hear the same warbling. You hear the buzzes. You hear the repetitions. So he's internalized the features of this call. He's learned. And that's not something that he could have done by genetics or development or anything like that because the male's repertoire was unique.